Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can work with trig functions on the Casio FC 200V Financial Consultant Calculator. To do this we'll use the shift key that looks like this located here, the setup key that looks like this located here, the catalog key that looks like this located here, the right bracket key that looks like this located here, and the one, two, and three keys with the shift function of sine, cos, and tan that looks like this located across the bottom down here. The first step when working with trig functions on this calculator is to tell our calculator what format we're using. For these examples, we'll be using degrees. So to set that, we go to Setup, scroll down, until we see Angle, select that, and we see we can choose between degrees, radians, or gradients. Like I said, we'll be using degrees, so highlight degrees, number one, and select that. You should see a D at the top of our screen now, letting us know we're in degrees mode. If you're working with radians, you'll see an R. If you're working with gradients, you'll see a G. We can now exit this menu and get started with our first example. For sine of 30 degrees, we press shift 1 to get sine on our screen, and then 30, close our bracket, and hit exe. And we see we get sine of 30 degrees is equal to 0 0.5. For cos, we use shift 2 to get cos and then enter 30, close our bracket, and hit exe. And we see we get cos of 30 degrees is equal to 0 0.8660, etc., which is correct. For tan, we use the shift function of 3. So we go shift 3 to get tan on our screen. Enter the 30. Close our bracket and hit exe and see what would round to 0 0.5774, which is correct. What about cosecant, secant, or cotangent? To get these, we need to use the inverse of the corresponding function. So, for example, if we want cosecant of 30 degrees, we need to use sine. So we go shift, one for sine, there we go, enter the 30, close our bracket, and now we need to inverse this. So we go to the catalog, scroll down to the minus one, and select that. And hit exe, and there we go. The inverse of sine 30, or the cosecant of 30 degrees, is equal to 2. For secant, we use cos. So again, we go shift 2 to get cos, 30, close our bracket, and then go to the catalog, select negative 1 and hit exe. And we get the secant of 30 degrees is equal to 1.1547, etc., which is correct. For cotangent, we use tan. So we go shift 3 for tan, 30 degrees, close our bracket, catalog, scroll down to negative 1, and hit exe, 
and we get the cotangent of 30 degrees would round to 1.7321, etc., which is correct. What about arc sine, arc cos, and arc tan? These are used when we want to go from our result backwards and figure out how many degrees were used. So, for example, if we wanted to do arc sine of 0 0.5, what we do is go to the catalog key and scroll down. all the way until we see sine minus one, select that, enter the 0 0.5, close our bracket, and hit EXE. And we see we get the arc sine of 0 0.5 is equal to 30 degrees, which is correct. For our cos, we do the same. We go to the catalog key, Scroll down until we see cos minus 1, select it, and we'll enter our 0 0.8660, close our bracket, and hit EXE, and get what would round to 30 degrees. For our tan, again, we go to our catalog menu or catalog key, scroll down, until we see tan minus one, select it, enter our 0 0.5774, close our bracket, and hit EXE, and again, get what would round to 30 degrees. Thanks for watching everybody. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And as always, good luck on those tests out there everybody. You've got this.